In the second part of the demo, we will see how WebSphere Message Broker version 8001 handles the complex application integration of JK Industries by developing simple flows in the WebSphere Message Broker toolkit and deploying them on the Message Broker runtime. In this scenario, the Create Sales Order application needs to connect to the Siebel system to create a new sales order. We shall now see how easily you can connect to an ERP system such as Siebel using Message Broker to implement this integration. We will start with creating an adapter connection using the adapter connection wizard as displayed here. At this point, you will need to provide the Siebel libraries, the connection URL, the parameters to connect to the Siebel system, that is, the IP address, the port number, the user credentials, and so on. You need to select the discovered business objects in their module. Proceed with the wizard and finally click the finish button on the wizard. And you can see that an adapter config file has been created. Now, all you need to do is drag and drop this adapter file into the message flow palette and connect the nodes as required. Now we are ready to deploy this message flow into the message broker. This is the user interface of the sales order where the user logs in. Click the new order button. Specify the item number and quantity. To place the order click the submit button. You can see the new order request confirmation. Now let us check our order in the Siebel Client Console. You can see the order number 100 bar 25 created with the status shown as new. Moving to the next module, the credit check application needs to connect to the .NET service to retrieve the credit limit. Let us now see how to develop the .NET integration flow in the Message Broker Toolkit. It is as simple as importing an existing DLL file, dragging it and dropping it onto the palette. Double click the .NET node and Microsoft Visual Studio IDE is launched where you can call existing .NET methods to develop the integration logic. Now drag and drop the flow into Message Broker Execution Group you can see the flow is deployed in the broker. Coming back to the user interface, click the next button to validate the credit limit. We have enabled a debugger to show the message processing in the flow. You can see the request message containing the item details here. The request message is processed through the .NET node and the response message displays that the credit check has passed. The status of the credit check is display browser. Click the next button to process the order. The request message comes to the inventory flow with the item details as shown for update in SAP. Proceed forward with the flow debugger and you can see the success message returned by SAP. The output XML messages are shown in the toolkit. The flow now progresses for invoice generation and shipment. The IBM Kix transaction server flow is invoked and the customer address details are retrieved from Siebel and sent to the Kix transaction server along with the order details. Proceed with the debugger and you can see a success message returned by the Kix transaction server confirming that the order has been shipped. Now the flow will update the order status in Siebel. This is a mobile browser simulator where you can enter the sales order details to view the order status. Specify the account number and the order number and click Submit. The request goes to the broker through Worklight and retrieves the order status from Siebel using Message Flow. 
you receive the response saying your order is shipped. This brings us to the end of the demo on sales order application integration using WebSphere Message Broker. For more information about the WebSphere Message Broker product, visit us online.